Hello everybody, this is my video log for Seminar 4 about sprinting drills and I've chosen the no-arm sprint uh, which is then followed by actual sprint. The no-arm sprint involves the athlete placing their arms behind the back and running for a selected distance. Upon a stimulus, i.e. a cone, the athlete may then utilise their arms for the remainder of the sprint. The drill is designed to enhance the body's natural cross-connections by developing the working relationship between the arms and the legs. The drill highlights the importance of an effective arm drive to the athlete and how the arm drive can have a positive effect upon their application of force. Starting with the no arm section of the sprint, the athlete will first of all notice the excessive trunk rotation that occurs without the presence of the arm drive. This causes the upper body to rotate from side to side and it should essentially be in a relaxed state. They will also feel lack of force in the stride as is due to reduction in stride length and low knee position. In addition, the recovery swing is also significantly slower than with the presence of arms. The still image highlights the excessive trunk rotation as well as poor hip alignment, which occurs the byproduct of not utilizing the arms while sprinting. It's caused the trailing leg to almost swing directly behind the leading leg, and as such, it's causing the right shoulder to excessively rotate. However, once the arms were utilised, I was able to realign my body to run directly towards the target. The excessive jump rotation almost completely disappeared and my body became significantly more relaxed. In addition, by not being able to utilise my arms, initial acceleration was also hindered. My spine was in a highly flexed position and my posture was... Finally, it's clear from the video that once the arms are utilised, my stride length increased and although obviously not perfect, the sprint looked technically more correct. The drill really made me focus on my arms once I transitioned. I feel aided with my force production, upright posture, recovery stride and flight phase. So uh, thanks for watching my video log. It was quite interesting for me. I've never actually recorded myself sprinting before, so it's given me a few more pointers. So you can actually transfer to my athletes.